Good morning, you guys. So I woke up feeling like garbage. I'm sneezing like crazy and my nose is stuffy. I thought I was sneezing because of those allergies. But now that I'm thinking about it, like, I don't know. Maybe it's a combination of both. But it's definitely never been, like, super, like, runny and stuff. So I'm probably sick. Um, but, I mean, what can you do? So I let myself sleep in this morning thinking that maybe, like, I'll feel a little better if I slept a little bit more. But no. it. I still got up and it felt horrible so i woke up at like 10 and i've been just like walking around i'm trying a new coffee today it's actually the one that we were given as um like a party favor at the wedding so i was just like you know what this is interesting let me try it out why not um and i'm probably gonna get dressed into super warm clothes and i have like to do taxes editing um i have a phone call later today and like emails and stuff so it's just like a bunch, I'm sorry, I'm trying to vlog here. <laughs> it's just like a bunch of things that don't require me to look good, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, you know, sit here in my, in my sniffles and my, my illness and, you know, nobody has to know. Nobody except the vlog needs to know that I'm not feeling hot. Oh, that's good. It's like really smooth. Wait, how am I supposed to know what kind of coffee this is, though? I just have their website. So I'm supposed to be having a call in a little bit, and I just realized I scheduled this call, but the people I'm going to be on the call with are from Los Angeles, and it could potentially be miscommunication because I said 2.30 thinking it was, like, Eastern time. But they could be thinking, you know, Pacific time. This is a struggle when you work globally. <laughs> so I guess I'm just going to sit here and wait and see what happens. That was insane, you guys. I literally, I should have said New York time because I waited three hours and the meeting ended up being at 5.30. So, I mean... Like, I don't know. I, I just, I can't with myself sometimes. So, I've been sitting here editing the video that's going up today, which is my prom makeup tutorial. And I finally finished, like, right before I had the phone call, which is amazing. So, now it is going to be uploading while I am doing other things. Today has just been such a busy day, but it's really, like, the behind the scenes of everything, honestly. So, I am going to click it to upload. I thought maybe I can make it to a nail appointment because my nails are griming, you guys. Like, look at this. It's like I haven't been to the nail salon in like three and a half weeks it's it's getting to a point where it's just embarrassing to even like touch something like hold it in front of the video I'm like don't don't look at my nails so I was thinking about filming a video tomorrow and I was like perfect like my nails will be done but I can't my nail lady is busy today because she was not there um yesterday so everybody was like let's go to her today and I'm like eh. so um yeah that's that's what's going on and I'm now here just chilling waiting for my video to upload i'm going to finish doing my taxes and i'm going to finish answering emails and there was something else i was going to do but i can't Good remember morning, what it was guys. so i woke up and i feel like garbage my throat hurts my nose is stuffy and i have class today i was thinking about filming this morning but it was just it was not going to happen i need like a box of tissues attached to me at all times <laughs> But I'm just going to head to class, I guess, and see what happens for the rest of the day. As you know, I was supposed to get a package today with the Amazon um, acrylic like holders that I wanted to put around my room. I thought it would come in the morning, so I was like, you know what? Instead, I'll like organize my office in the morning. Nope, it didn't come. So I ended up vacuuming my room and stuff like that. That was kind of boring, and I was like, I'm not going to film this. Um, but yeah, so I don't know where my package is. It says it's supposed to be delivered today, so maybe it'll come later. I have a nail appointment um, today at 5.45 because look at my nails. Look at this nasty situation. My nails grow so fast. This is probably three weeks. I know some people... Like, this would be, like, six weeks for them. But my nails grow so fast, I have to, like, get them done. I was actually thinking about getting rid of gels and not having nails anymore. Oh, my cat's here. What's up, girl? Hey, guys. 
So I got out of class, um, he let us out early, and today he gave me participation. I literally asked one question, like, it wasn't even relevant to the case, really. I just didn't understand something, like, I don't get this professor. But, um, I'm currently headed home. I have a nail appointment at 545, but currently it is, like, 502, 503. And I wanted to stop in at home to eat, because I also got my packages of my acrylic cases, so yay. Um, but yeah, so, like... I need to get home, but there's really bad traffic ever since the um, derailment at Penn Station in New York. Uh, there's just been a lot of traffic and also on the radio they said there's like five different accidents everywhere on the big highways and it's rush hour so it slows everybody down so it took a really long time for me to get down like the one highway I take. Uh, it was more standstill. We were still moving but very very slow so I was lucky that I was let out early. Uh, because I would have literally had to go straight to the nail appointment and that may not have worked out in my favor I could have ended up late. So yeah, I'm gonna head home right now um, and eat and then hopefully make it to my nail appointment I'm probably gonna have like 15 minutes to eat maybe less. I don't know Oh my goodness, so I got my nails done and apparently my lady got double booked somebody else booked her for like the same time as me and one of her workers ended up like putting it into the book and so like she didn't know that she was gonna have two appointments and so I walk in and she's like ooh can you come back tomorrow and I was like no I have so much to do tomorrow I literally like book this like like it's today is kind of out of my way too but I was like can anybody else do my nails and so this new lady that I've never gone to but she's been like a favorite for like a lot of people like lately so um she did my nails and she did it so quick it was like in and out I love them I picked like my go-to color so I'm ready and good to go I'm out 15 minutes early so I feel like a new woman <laughs> um I think I'm just gonna head home make myself some coffee at home and uh, get to organizing my office um, potentially some other stuff but I'm not sure I really I mean I have homework that needs to be done too and like stuff like that so we'll see how that works out so I went ahead and organized the majority of my liquid lipsticks like I put my favorite Ofra ones up there Kylie's um, and then I went on and did like ColourPop and these are some of the drugstore wet and wild liquid lipsticks moved on to some more high-end ones that i really like but i don't really have their entire collections then i have some other ones that are a little bit smaller and then some other drugstore ones that i really like so that's kind of like how i did it here and then i ended up putting in um my kylie liquid lips liquid lip glosses my goodness goodness gracious and then I ended up putting this here temporarily I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this here I don't like the way this um situation's going on here I feel like it's overfilled and I definitely need to kind of lower the amount of uh mascaras I have going on here because this is not not necessary and then I have a bunch of lip glosses in here but I don't use these so I think I need to move them somewhere farther where they're going to be out of my way but I haven't decided that yet um, this is where I keep like the new stuff that just came in PR recently, but I'm not sure if I like the way this is here. Um, I may want to move this where my other ones are back there. So I'm still in the process. I know a lot of you guys are asking for like a makeup collection and storage video, but I'm not so happy with the way my storage is right now. So I'm still like in the process of figuring it all out. Um, I will show you guys kind of what I did with the lipsticks for now at least. So over here I set up, kind of put all my drugstore lipsticks in here. I did um, more drugstore lipsticks and then like lip crayons and kind of longer ones. And it's kind of easy to see what the colors are on the front. And then up here I have a lot of NYX products, so I have all my NYX lipsticks and then the lipstick crayons, which you can see the colors on the side. Then I have all of NYX's like liquid um, creams and such and like butter glosses, um, and there's still space for some more if need be. And up here is more of like... I want to say like liquid lipsticks but are that are glossy um, and again easy to see the colors from here so I can figure out which ones I want and then up here are my high-end uh, like lipsticks 
I mean lip glosses, sorry. But I need to flip this. I put it the wrong way. So these need to be facing this way. And there's just like a bunch of them in there. So like technically what I want is this to be this way. So I can see it. Now my drawer in here is empty. This one is empty. But like all of these are also empty. So I'm not sure if I want to keep lipsticks out of like, you know, here and like... I don't know because I feel like these are now wasted but at the same time like I didn't like the way that these were stored um, I just felt like it was a little bit overwhelming um, these are my high-end lipsticks that I do use often so I wanted to keep them kind of nearby and then I want to deal with this because I don't like the way that my lip liners are separated and eyebrow stuff is like overflowing I don't know it's just it this is not this is not sustainable we have to we have to do something about this it's really late at night but i have been planning youtube videos and just trying not to sneeze and cough as much as i am i feel like i'm getting more and more sick as like the day progresses and that's not good so i am going to go to sleep and hopefully i feel better in the morning but honestly even when you're sick you gotta look at the positive I have an avocado that is going to be in perfect condition tomorrow morning, and I cannot wait to have it for breakfast. I'm just saying. These are the things I look forward to in life, because I always miss that, like, ripe moment of my avocado. This one, I timed out, and I knew this morning, I was like, it's not good. It's not good yet. It's going to be perfect tomorrow. I can't wait. Hey, you're just sleeping through this storm? Yeah? You having a good time? She loves sleeping on this bed. There's so much space. She just rolls around. Look at you. You're so cute. She's so soft. I couldn't pet her all day because I was going through my makeup and I had swatches all over my hands. She's white and sometimes we have little stains on her. You're so mean. She doesn't want to give you a hug, Katie. You're so mean. <laughs> Today I've been just organizing my makeup, like basically just going through everything and making it look nice. Um, but I've just reached the concealers. I think I'm about finished and I can move on to the next drawer, but that's what I've been doing. I've been sneezing all day. Like, I have so much congestion right here. My throat hurts, so I've been drinking tea. But good news, this morning I did eat my avocado. That was, like, nice and perfect. I didn't film it because I literally, I woke up, I grabbed a tissue box, and I sat with it. Like, I was eating and, like, sneezing at the same time. Oh my god, I need to sneeze again. It's just, it's, uh, it's not a fun day. I was thinking about filming my foundation routine, but honestly, I would have sneezed so much through it, and my eyes are, like, red. And I don't know if it's, like, from what, but I'm just, I don't know where I caught this either. It's a disaster. Luckily, today is, like, a really rainy day, so it's not like I was planning on going anywhere, really. It's just so, 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 so rainy, you guys. I want to go to Target and like the dollar store. Oh my gosh, why am I so bright? Can we chill out with the lighting, please? Hello? Thank you. Um, because I want to organize some of my products in like a different way. Because currently I have a ton of stuff just kind of stacked like this. And it's hard to see the colors of the blushes. So I wanted to see if there was a better way to do that. And I took one of the organizers that I had in my eyeshadow to use for the foundation just because it's a little bit um, wider than the other one I had in here. It was like this instead of like this and this way that foundations can fit the long way. But yeah, so I need to get a new one for here because now I don't have one. <laughs>
away from organizing. I'm gonna take Katie to dance. This is like the first time I've taken you to dance in a while. Right? Yeah. It's always mom or dad. Or I'm in class when you have dance and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're running a little bit late, not too bad though. I totally forgot that I needed gas, so I dropped Katie off and stopped in because I literally had two little like lines and I knew that it was about to change and be like empty and I would have been at like Target or something and it would have been like horrible. Because normally I wake up on Wednesdays and I'm like late to class and I go and then I'm, I'm like, oh no, I don't have gas. So I have to stop in to get gas and I'm late for class. So not today, not today. I'm currently trying to figure out whether or not I want to go to Target or like Bed Bath & Beyond. I was watching a lot of like makeup collection and storage videos and I remember using like ice cube trays back when like my collection was tiny to store like eyeshadows and stuff and I'm thinking like maybe I want to do that again but at the same time that takes so much space and it's just like kind of inefficient. Um, so I'm sitting here like not sure what to do if I should go somewhere. I'm not feeling so hot. I was thinking maybe stopping into Starbucks and getting myself a warm beverage but it's like too much of an effort. So I think I'm just going to head home. Can we take a moment to appreciate how Ediska is sleeping? What, is this is this cat yoga? Is this cat yoga? Huh? <laughs> I could really go for some tea right now. I'm like kind of struggling to like breathe and my throat is starting to hurt again. <sighs> I've just been so into cleaning and I'm so happy that's what I ended up doing today. Because I think I like let you guys know but I gave up like Netflix for Lent so um, I haven't been watching Netflix for like a long time now and I've had so much more time in my life to do things this has been one of my go-to teas it's like called forest fruits I just like having herbal or like fruity teas after 6 p.m. just because I have noticed that I have a hard time falling asleep sometimes and I would much rather be able to not blame that on caffeine I totally got caught up in like doing all this, so I have to go edit the vlog and I'm probably gonna set it up so it's up tomorrow morning. But I decided to do my eyebrows a different way today. I was playing around with it and I kind of like it. I just sat down and did them really quick because I was thinking, I was like, how, how would my eyebrows look if I did it like this? So I'm liking it. I do feel like I used a dark color today, but um, yeah, I'm going to try that next time I do a full face of makeup. But as of right now, oh my gosh, no, no, no. She's not supposed to be in there. Normally she goes in there at night to take a nap, but like then throughout the night she just walks on top of Lizzie and Katie's face which is not cool and they don't like it so I just don't let her in there at night um but yeah so anyways as I was saying I'm pretty happy I got all of this sorted this entire kind of section is completely sorted completely done I don't have to touch it I do have some foundations that I have to figure out when I bought these because they look a little sus with like a little bit of you know, I don't know when the, when I got these, so I want to make sure I can smell them and test them out and see if I can keep them. Um, I like this moisturizer, but I do have dry skin, so I need more moisture. So I'm thinking about giving this to one of my friends. And I just haven't really done the perfumes and stuff. But yeah, then I went in here and I organized everything. So here, everything is perfect. Then we have the lip liners organized, this thing, this whole thing. These things, I'm still not touching, and I'm not touching these because I am getting a new, a new thing here. Look at this. Stop it. You're not supposed to go in here. Stop it. Stop it. Alright, so I'm going to start editing this. I came down here and just sneezed like five times. Not a cute sight. So, I'm gonna edit this. Hopefully, it'll be up tomorrow. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining me on my vlogs, even though I haven't really left the house that much. Hope you enjoyed them. <laughs> so, I'll see you guys in the next vlog.